this call today is to help you really understand how to get your production level up with your sales team or even with yourself. I know there's a lot of Office VP users that has a sales team and they would love to implement Office VP, that, but they just don't know how. In this call, we're going to unlock the secrets to making all that happen. We're going to turn your sales into a cash generating revenue machine. Here's the big question. I want to really show you what it really is like in the real world. You know, this is the customer. This is you and your competitors. And at the end of the day, it literally begins to become white noise. And by the time they get off the phone or begin finish reading the website or the emails, they are as confused, if not more confused than they were before they started. Because all they knew when they started is that they were looking for a solution. And by the time they were finished looking at the solution providers, they were so confused, they didn't know if they really even wanted to take that route. After they get off the phone with you, do they look like this? So the question is, is how do you become unique? How do you separate yourself from the white noise and become that sweet music that stands out above all of the rest of the crowd so that your customer hears you on a level that makes a lot of sense? One of our first plans of attack when we get a customer on the phone or we get a customer in front of us is to make a dazzling presentation. I want to talk to you about what happens in the customer's mind after the presentation is over. What do they remember? And then over time, what do they really remember? So here's the question. How much of your presentation will they remember? The bad news for anyone delivering a presentation is that despite of all of your hard work, careful choice of content to including your presentation, most of it will go in one ear and out the other. And you know, you think, wow, how could that be? And it is because you're not driving your points home in a really concise fashion. Researchers once ran a test to measure how much of a presentation or how much of a presenter's message sticks in the minds of their audience. They found that immediately after a 10-minute presentation, the listeners or viewers only remembered about 50% of what was said or shown. And by the next day, the memory of that presentation dropped to 25%. And as little as one week later, they remembered only 10% of the entire presentation. These are real studies and real facts that we need to wake up and pay attention to. Why is that important? In a typical strategic sales presentation, your audience and members will not make a decision right after you've spoken with them. Most of them are on a fact-finding or a discovery mission. So it may be a day, it may be a few days, or it may be a week or even longer after your presentation before they actually make the buying or the joining decision. And by that time, they may no longer remember your any specific details, but each individual will have in their own mind, they will have headlines of your presentation. Emotional headlines and then headlines that they derive from your presentation. In their mind, that's what they retain. So first impression is the most important impression. Knowledge is power. And if you go into a presentation understanding that as you talk, their mind is taking mental snapshots, making mental headlines. So it's very important that you make concise bullet points so that in their mind you're imprinting headlines that they will remember a week later. And Winston Churchill said this. He said, if you have an important point to make, don't try to be subtle or clever. He said, use a pile driver, hit the point once, then come back and hit it again, then hit it a third time with a tremendous whack. That's Winston Churchill. So since very little of your message will stick, you must be absolutely clear in your mind which 10% of your presentation do you want them to remember. Design your presentation to make sure that that happens. The first step is to choose a clear and compelling theme. You must write the headline and then craft your content to reinforce, repeat it, and dramatize it. And that way you leave incredible headlines that your prospect will remember. Here's the, one of the most important pieces of the entire process. You need to go through an emotional bonding process with your prospects. You need to build that relationship with them. And the reason why people feel like they've been yelled at is because you have salespeople that are literally shoving sales content down their throat to the point where it's gagging. And you want to be different. You want your presentation to stand out like the sunrise of the the morning. And when people see you, hear you, and feel you, 
they know you, like you, and trust you, and then they will buy from you. These are some real key points for you as an individual to really take a hold of and implement in your sales. But this presentation today is going to be about how to take your sales team and really improve their performance. And the most important thing you can do with your sales team is empower them with effective content. And we're going to show you that content today. Make it easy with no learning curve. And how we do that is we're going to share the content with them so that it's just a click for them to implement this process. And that's why the process needs to be simple. The results of that will be you will increase their performance and they will crush the competition. Guys, I'm going to bring on the phone Mr. Greg George. Greg, thank you for joining us on the call today. Well, thank Very you, good. Jesse, and thank you, uh, the folks that are on the call. You know, Jesse, he calls me or contacts me periodically when he has certain points I think he wants to point out to Office VP users. And today, he he contacted me and asked me if I would jump on this call. And, you know, I'm not necessarily giving testimony. I'm just giving the facts to you that, you know, I've used the Office VP product now for nine years. I'm a one-man sales organization, and I wouldn't be if I did not have Office VP. I've used it every day, six days a week for almost nine years. Just a little history about me. I am in franchise development. I take startup franchise companies from small to big. And in order for me to do that, I deal with a certain type of a prospect that's looking for business opportunity. Well, there's zillions of people that are vying for the franchise business. There's 9,000 other companies that they can look at to see if it's something they would be interested in. Well, all 9,000 of them, other than the brands that I'm involved with, they do it the same way that you're doing it today. Everybody that's on this call is doing it the same way. You're calling people on the phone, you're meeting people in person, or you're emailing people more information about whatever is the opportunity that you're offering. You know, what I've learned over nine years, and I call Jesse all the time thanking him, saying, Jesse, if it weren't for Office VP, I would not be where I am in life. You know, the reason why I believe this is, number one, I've tried every sales tool, presentation, gadget, stunt, whatever you want to call it, to sell products or services or opportunities that I'm involved with. I've tried everything. I've, bought, I've done everything you could buy. Every portal, I've tried them all before I found Office VP. Once I found Office VP, I threw them all in the trash can because Office VP is different. You know, I utilize this every day, but number one, it's my number one sales tool. It's my sales organization. It's my workhorse. I use Office VP to send a very short and sweet message to my prospects. I don't go on and on. I said in past calls, I used to do two or three minute videos and send them to thousands of people. And it weren't for a couple years later when I took the time to look at the tracking on the Office VP. I found out that those people, the thousands, hundreds a day, they watched two seconds of my video and hung up on me. They quit watching it because it was too long. And then I vowed I'll never do, by the way, anybody on this call today, don't waste your time doing a video over 60 seconds. Do not go on and on. Don't waste one moment because the people will lose interest in you and your opportunity or whatever you're selling because you go on and on and on. I did it for five years. Tell them, Jesse. One day, Greg called me. He said, Jesse, he said, I'm sending out videos and I'm courting until I'm exhausted. He said, I'm not getting any results. So I said, Greg, why don't we take a look at your back office? Let's log in and take a look at video stat reports and let's just find out how much of your video that people are watching. And what we found was mind boggling. Uh, Greg was recording anywhere from three to four minute videos. And what we found is the average time spent on his videos was about 45 seconds. Greg said, OK, I'm going to redo my plan. Back to you, Greg. He is right. He alarmed me when I took the time to go in with him and I saw all that hard work I put into, and I'm talking about years of this, over 3,000 videos just saying I wasted all my time. So my advice on this call is don't even waste your time over 60 seconds. You won't find in any of my videos any selling. 
When you're doing these videos, folks, don't be selling anything. Don't ask for the business. Don't make a remark that has to do with you want to sell them anything. So I've been able to develop relationships that I'm, in most cases I haven't met in person because they don't feel like I'm the other 20 franchise companies wearing them out. And I don't care what it is you're offering. Be different from the people. You're not going to be wearing them out. The other big key thing that I use all the VP for and everybody on this call should is I take their fears away. I figured out after years of going up and down in my industry, what is it that's stopping the people from buying what I'm selling? Well, in franchising, the things that they are worried about is can they show me how to do it? Can they show me how to run this seafood franchise? So that's when I have a 60-second video from the director of training for my seafood concept, it says, hey, Susie here over at XYZ Seafood, we know that one of the things our prospective franchisees worry about is, can they show me how to run the business? Can they show me how to execute? Then she says, well, rest assured, when it comes to XYZ Seafood Company, we sure we got you covered. And that takes away that fear. The other things they're fearful about is, how do I find a location? How do I, or I'm worried about a location. Guess what? I'm standing there with two commercial real estate brokers saying, hey, I'm here with Jim and Joe from this national company, and we know one of the things you're worried about is, how do I find the right location? Well, rest assured, tell them, Joe. And Joe says something, then Jim says something, and I say, thanks, guys. So don't worry about it, okay? And the next thing they're worrying about is, how are they going to help me build my business? I don't know about marketing. I'm, I'm, this is the first time I've ever owned a seafood franchise or a restaurant franchise. Our director of marketing says, hey, I'm Susie, director of marketing for XYZ Seafood, and when it comes to marketing, we're going to blow up your brand. We use state-of-the-art tools. By the way, all these companies, they use Office VP every day now to do everything, not sell franchises, but to communicate and make them stand out from the crowd. The last thing that they're really worried about, how do I get the money to start this seafood franchise? That's a video of me, a guy they've already seen before, because I sent him a video as soon as I hung up with him the first time I ever spoke to him on the phone, but I'm going to send him a video four or five days later in my autoresponder system at Office VP. This is, hey, I know one big worry you must have is how do I get the money? Well, guess what? We are on the FBA registry. Rest assured, we got you covered. So look, I took away all their fears before I ever even do business with them, number one. And then I mix in with this over a couple-week period. I also send them videos from the key people in the company. So if you're selling insurance or selling automobiles or if you're selling religion, it doesn't make any difference. What I use Office VP for and the number one thing and the main thing that's propelled me to my success is I allow my prospects the ability to get to know me better and the key players in whatever the opportunity. We do no selling, we take away all the fears, and we allow the prospects to get to know me, my company, and our brand. My advice to everybody on this call today is you got to stand out. I don't care what it is you're pushing. If you're like everybody else, look, I'm dealing with 9,000 competitors, but not a one of them does what I do. And that's why I'm tuning it in the franchise industry. Your competition today, folks, they're doing everything my competitors do. They're sending stale emails. They're stalking people by phone. They're selling, say, will you buy from me? I let Office VP do the work for me, and all I do is relationship building. I'll just give you an example. I flew yesterday to Nashville, Tennessee, to meet a prospect that I'd never met in person. I met two guys, you know, these guys invested 1500 bucks just to come and see me in this franchise company. We met with them. I presented things. At the end of the presentation, they said, where do we sign? They were having to write a check for $52,500 for an area of development for San Antonio, Texas. On the first day I ever met them in person. Well, they're still in Nashville today because I did what I do, and I came back to the beach here where I live to start working off of VP again. Well, the owners of the franchise concept called me this morning, and they said, Greg, we took him out to dinner last night. By the way, Jesse, I haven't even told you. But they said they took him out to dinner last night, and the owners of the concept said, what do you think about Greg? And they said, well, to be honest with you, we already knew about Greg. We already knew Greg before we ever met him. We love him. 
Office BP allowed me yesterday to make $21,000. In four and a half months, the last two quarters of last year, I made $180,000 sitting in my short pants at my home here in Carolina Beach selling franchises. I must tell everybody on this call, you have to set this up for your business. No matter what you're selling or no matter what opportunity you're talking about, the autoresponders is the only way to go. Now, all I have to do now is enter the people's name and email address and push a button, and Office VP is like 10 salespeople. I'm sending people a series of emails and video emails that let them know everything they need to know. It takes away all their fears. So when I get in front of them in person, they're going to be just like yesterday when I collected the cool $21,000 for a quick trip to Nashville. I encourage you guys and gals to take just a little bit of effort. Jesse will tell you, I use Office VP probably only 50% of what it's capable of. I encourage you to invest the time into the Office VP, and if you do it right, you'll be like me, and you'll quadruple your income once you get it figured out. Thank you for your time. Greg, thank you so much for sharing with us today. It was very, very helpful and insightful. One of the biggest things that I and everyone on this call has gleaned from you is to take the selling process out of whatever it is that we're doing. Think about what their fears are. Think about what their questions will be. And then create a series of video emails that would go out over a few days that will take away their fears, answer their questions. And what you're really telling them is, look, we're not here to try to sell you. We're not here to try to get in your back pocket. We're here to help you. Here's some helpful information, and even if you don't buy from us, even if you don't do business with us, we want to give you helpful information that will get you on the right path to accomplishing your goals. And when you get that message across to a prospect, they're going to know, like, and trust you. You're going to be like flypaper to them. They will not go anywhere else. They will buy from you. Now we're going to take a look at Greg's autoresponder setup. He has eight letters in his autoresponder. The first letter is face with a voice. That is the it was great speaking with you video email. Letter number two is a video about us. Letter number three is what sets us apart. Letter number four is a video from the CEO thanking them. Letter number five is we can show you how. Letter number six is we know marketing. Letter number seven, we know location. Letter number eight is funding is available. All of these videos are designed to take the fears away from the prospect and answer the unasked questions. Now let's view this video face with a voice. Hello Greg George here. I want to send you a short video to number one thank you for the time that you gave me on the phone earlier regarding the Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar franchise opportunity. And number two most importantly I want to allow you to put up face with my voice and my name. We appreciate your interest in the Shuck and Shack and I look forward to speaking with you very soon. Thank you. Now let's view the second video that goes out about us. The Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar, located in the heart of Carolina Beach and historic downtown Wilmington, was founded in 2007 by entrepreneur Sean Cook and Matt Pickening. The two men envisioned a restaurant-esque establishment that would appeal to friends and families of all ages. A place where locals and tourists alike could have delicious seafood, a cold drink, and good company while watching sports on the big screen TV or talking some local history in a casual dining and bar atmosphere. The friendly staff members at the Shuck and Shack have a way of making patrons feel right at home with their courtesy service and easygoing personalities. The future continues to look bright for the Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar. We now are offering franchise opportunities to like-minded business people that can see themselves owning and operating a Shuck and Shack franchise. People that get that we have a great name, a great product, and we're in a great niche in the Oyster Bar franchise category. Regardless of the case, if you're a local patron or a coastal tourist to the area, head on down to the Shuck and Shack, your family-friendly neighborhood oyster bar, and have yourself a good shucking time. Now we'll view the third video that goes out, What Sets Us Apart. My name's Sean Cook, and this is my business partner, Matt Pickening. We'd like to take a quick moment to let you know what sets the Shuck and Shack oyster bar apart from all other food franchises out there. Tell them, Matt. Well, Sean, the number one thing that sets us apart is our name. The Shuck and Shack lets people know what we do, along with delicious food, great atmosphere, and first-rate service. Back that up with some strong brand development, and you got a recipe for success. Thank you for your continued interest in the Shuck and Shack. Now we'll view the fourth video that goes out, the CEO Thank You. Hi, my name is Jonathan Wethington, and I'm the CEO of Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar. 
I want to take this time to sincerely thank you for showing interest in our company and to let you know that you're in great hands with our franchise development team. I hope to meet you soon. Thanks. The fifth video, we can show you how. Hello, I am Sarah Lookingbill in the training department at Shuck and Shack. Knowing how to execute the Shuck and Shack concept will be a key ingredient for your success. Once you attend our five-day training course at Shuck and Shack, you will know everything there is to know about how to run a successful Shuck and Shack restaurant concept. You will learn about our food, how to prepare each item, the financial side of things, and the marketing strategies to get and keep our customers. Thank you again for your continued interest in the Shuck and Shack. The sixth video, We Know Market. Hi, I'm Wendy Kelly, Director of Marketing for the Shuck and Shack. We know marketing. We know that as you are looking at opportunities, one of your questions can be, can this company help me grow my business? Well, rest assured, at the Shuck and Shack, we are constantly working on our franchisees' behalf to build our assets. Whether it's a Facebook post, a YouTube video, or a tweet, we've got you covered. The seventh video that goes out, We Know Location. Hello, Greg here again, and today I'm with Tyler Pegg and Cody Kress with Caldwell Banker Commercial. You know the name. We know at the Shuck and Shack, one thing you might be wondering about is, how do I find that perfect location? Well, rest assured, because at Shuck and Shack, we put a lot of focus on site selection. Tell them, Tyler. Thanks, Greg. I appreciate that. We here at Coldwell Banker Commercial have all the resources necessary for the Shuck and Shack franchises to lean on. We have offices across the country, nearly 400. Tell them more, Cody. We'll have the local knowledge and global connections, along with our state-of-the-art site selection tools to find you the best sites for the Shuck and Shack. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Trust me, when it comes to real estate, we know what we're talking about. We appreciate your continued interest in the Shuck and Shack, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Thanks. And the eighth video that goes out, funding is available. We know that one of the key ingredients to getting your Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar franchise open is getting funding. So we have multiple third-party financing contacts that can help you secure the funding, whether it be your 401k plan, whether it be a traditional bank loan, whether it be equipment leasing, or maybe a non-collateralized line of credit. We appreciate your continued interest in the Shuck and Shack, and we look forward to seeing you very soon to talk more. Thank you. Most of the videos you just saw was under 45 seconds. The About Us video was only 1 minute and 15 seconds. And the reason I wanted to show you these videos is to help you get the concept of what Greg was trying to get across. They make no selling efforts in the videos. These simple short videos are designed to take the fears and answer the unanswered questions. Now I want to show you two more videos that Greg sends out. If the prospect doesn't respond to this autoresponse, Greg sends two more follow-up videos out manually. One is a two-week no-response follow-up, and the other is a 30-day no-response follow-up. Let's watch the two-week no-response follow-up now. Hello, Greg George here. I'm the director of Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar franchise based in Wilmington, North Carolina. And a few weeks ago, you had inquired about our franchise opportunity. And look, I know we all get busy as I get busy, but I want to come to you today via video and ask you that if you're serious about owning your own business and you want more information about the Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar concept, all you need to do is click on the button above this video. Let me know a good day, a good time, and I'll promptly call you. Thanks for your continued interest in the Shuck and Shack, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Now let's take a look at the final 30-day follow-up. Hello, Greg George here again with the Shuck and Shack Oyster Bar Franchise Company. I want to follow up with a video because it's been about 30 days since you had inquired about the Shuck and Shack franchise opportunity. And we know there's a lot of franchises out there that you may be looking at. And we know in life we all get busy. But I'm coming to you one last time via video to ask you, if you're serious about owning your own business, you want to be on one of the hottest food-related franchises in America, click on the button above this video. Let me know a good day and time and a phone number, and I'll follow up with you and share more information. We appreciate your continued interest in the Chuck and Chuck, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Thank you. If they fail to respond after this last and final 30-day follow-up video, Greg puts them in a long-term drip campaign. It's an email that goes out just once a month, just keeping the prospect up to date with what's happening with Chuck and Chuck. 
The next phase in this presentation, in this webinar, is how do I get this set up so that my team can start doing what Greg is doing? I want to go back to our slide. Empower them with effective content. You create the content and then share it with their account so it becomes easy access and there's no learning curve for them. And then it becomes a simple process. If you can accomplish these key areas, your sales team will increase their performance and they will crush the competition. And what is the results of that? Higher revenue for your business. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to get your team started in just a couple of minutes. The first thing we'll do is go to account preferences. We'll click on share content. You simply need to create one sharing group that you can share content with. If you have an East Coast and a West Coast or different sales teams and you want to share different content with the different sales teams, you can do it here. You can create multiple sharing groups. But for this example, we're going to create one sharing group. We'll add our sales team and share the content and see what it looks like in their back office. So to create your first sharing group, you just add the sharing group. That's it. Now you have your sharing group created. Now set up the users. I've already created a user. To set up your sales team accounts, simply click the new button, select their username and password, then select the sharing group, then scroll down and put their information in. And for billing purposes, you can use the credit card that's on file, or you can use their credit card. And what salesperson wouldn't pay $19 a month for a tool that would do all of the heavy lifting for them and help increase their performance and revenue? Once you set it up, click Save and Close. And this will set up each one of your team members. The last step in this whole process is to share your content. We'll go to the letter library. We'll open the letter library and share the main template. This is the letterhead. We want to share our letterhead with them so they can quickly get an email out if they wish. So we'll simply click Share Content and we'll share it with this sharing group. We'll click insert, then click save and close, and you're done. We'll close our letter library down, and remember the video content that Greg was talking about? It's in the video email, and here are the videos that you've created for your sales team to utilize. Meet the CEO, we know marketing, we know location, all of the videos that will take the fears away from your prospects, build that relationship, and bring them in closer to you. We'll simply share these videos with that sharing group, We'll click Share Content, select the sharing group, click Insert, then click Save and Close. And we'll share all of the videos with our sharing group. After you're finished, we'll go to the new theme design. We'll even share our video email themes with them. We'll click Share Content, select the sharing group, click Insert, then click Save and Close. And here's one more design we'll share. Click Share Content, Insert, save and close. Okay, we finished sharing our video content. Remember that autoresponder? We'll share it also. We'll click autoresponder in the power tools and this is our autoresponder. We'll click edit and these are our autoresponder letters. All we need to do is click the share content, select the sharing group, click insert, and then click save and close and we're done. Okay, now we've shared our entire sales process with our entire team. Let's log out and log into the team account and see what they see. Okay, let's go to the letter library and see the email template. There's the letterhead. Let's close it down. Let's go to the video email vault. The only video the salesperson needs to create is one video. That's it. It was great speaking with you and this will be the first email that starts the autoresponder process. So this is very painless. Now let's look in the company videos. Here are all the videos that we shared. Now let's find the video email theme design that we shared. Okay, here's the great speaking with you. This is the page that the video will play on. And let's say that you needed them to download a PDF file on their first video. You can include the link for them to download here. And you can also include a calendar so that the recipient can set an appointment with this team member at any time and you can also include any information that you want them to see. And this is the second video email theme. This is the theme that we've assigned to the rest of the videos. It doesn't have the link for them to download. We've also included the calendar and any information that you want them to see. It's as simple as that. Now let's close down the video content. Now let's find the autoresponder we shared. Okay. 
This is the autoresponder we shared. Let's click the edit button and insert the video in the first email of it was great speaking with you. We'll click the edit link. Here's the first email. We'll click edit. We'll click next. We'll go to the letter builder. We'll click the pencil. We'll click where we want to insert the click to play image that will link to the page where the video plays on. On the left hand menu, we'll click video link. Then we'll click video library. There's our video. We'll select it. This will open the image gallery so that you can insert an image into the email. You can upload your own images or you can select one of ours. In the play video, in all of these categories, we have tons of images that you can use. But in this case, we're going to use video thumbnails. When you upload or record an image into the system, the system makes a thumbnail of that video. And in this case, we want to use the thumbnail or the picture of the salesperson. We'll click insert. We'll shrink this up just a little. This will make this email very friendly. When the recipient receives the email, they'll see the picture of the person sending the video and they'll click and watch the video. We'll click save, close the letter builder, then click save and close. Then we'll save and close the autoresponder. That's it. Now that we have everything set up and ready to go for the salesperson, let's see this in action from the salesperson's perspective and we'll open the contacts. Okay, now remember, we said easy access, no learning curve with simple processes. So the salesperson has their first prospect on the telephone. To get the entire process started, all they need to do is click the new button and add the contact. All they need to do is add the first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Then move their mouse pointer down to start autoresponder. Select the autoresponder, first exposure, then click save and close. And that's it. That's as simple as it gets. Now the system will take the contact over, start taking the fears away from the prospect, start building that relationship, and the salesperson is on to the next contact. That's as simple as it gets. I want to show you one more feature your team member can take advantage of if they're on the road and unable to access their computer and they have a prospect on the phone. We'll open the power tools and we'll go to subscribe forms. This is called a mobile form and this form can be used for two different purposes. Let's edit the form. What's great about this mobile form is if your team member is away from their PC and they can't access to enter the contact information, they can do it right there on their mobile phone. As soon as they get off the phone with the contact, they can simply complete this information and it will automatically start the autoresponder. It will automatically start that process no matter where they are in the world. Or this can be text to the prospect so the prospect can fill it out. Let's click next. Let's grab the link and see how this looks on a mobile device. Okay, this is a mobile phone emulator. This is exactly how this form will fit on the phone. They can play the video. And if the team member decides to text this form to their contact, when the contact gets it, this video would say, Hi, this is Jesse. It was great speaking with you on the phone. Complete the information below my video, and I'll get the information to you right away. And the recipient can complete the information and receive the information and the process will start immediately. Or, as soon as the team member gets off the phone with the contact, they can access this form on their phone, complete the information, and get the process started. This allows the team member to be effective no matter where they are in the world. How to help your sales team improve performance. Empower them with effective content. Make it easy and accessible with no learning curve. Create processes that are simple. And the results they will get it will increase their performance and crush the competition. The results you will get increased revenue. Thank you for joining me on this webinar today. We are here to support you and help you succeed.